Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this tutorial video I will show you how you can change the date format within Power BI. So changing the date format is required because your users want a different look and feel whenever they look at any slicer or filter or chart or anything. So how we can do that? So first of all let's get some data. So I am getting the data which is in the CSV and what I have is the sample superstore over here and uh, once we get the data you see that we have two columns within the dates we have order date the, or the date on which product was ordered and the ship date on which product was shipped so let's load the data and now once the data is loaded which will take like a couple of seconds we will look at the order date see what's the format of the date is and uh, format it so that uh, uh, Power BI can understand it easily. All right. So now, if you see what we have is the order date as a single field, right? So if let's say I create one slicer, I create a slicer over here, and I add the order date over here. So you will see all the order dates are coming, right? But the problem with this is if you will do any date manipulation, for example. Uh, from the minimum date on which a customer has ordered to a maximum date or how many times customer has ordered if you want to figure it out or if you want to figure it out on which dates customer has ordered a product you won't be able to do that and the reason for this is this is not properly formatted if it is a properly formatted date there would be a date hierarchy that's the catch you need to understand or you need to be aware of whenever you are working with dates so let me show you right now this is just one single field but once i will format you will see a date hierarchy so here let me go to the data section so it has our order date and ship date so let's look at the order date only and same settings then you can apply on the ship date so once you select the order date entire column is selected you will see that the data type is text and this is basically treating it as a text and not as a proper date so whenever you do any date manipulation it won't work so for this i go inside and change this to simply a date right now it is giving us the information with this data type change you your data will store differently and that's what we want we want to do date manipulation this may cause a loss of data or precision. After you make this change, you can restore the column by refreshing the table. Do you want to continue? Click OK. Because we know what we are doing. We are changing this to a date format. Now if you see, the date is formatted. And this, this format is coming based on the format which is over here. Right? So if you change anything, let's say you want 14 March uh you know, want to show it like this then you can show it like this as well and once it is done you go into the report you will see that even right now the old format is coming that means 3rd january 2015 however the format that we have is a different one because we changed it from here just now so what we can do is two things uh, i will come to this later as to how to correct this behavior but if you would observe over here, now the hierarchy is present using this drop down. And if you see, this icon is coming as a calendar icon, which is indicating that it is a date field. So, two things have changed, right? And just be aware that these are the things which should appear if Power BI has imported the date properly. So, once you go inside this, you will see the date hierarchy as I was mentioning. And in this date hierarchy, you can see the year, quarter, month, and day, right? So this is the benefit. You don't have to then create these fields. This is then at your disposal automatically created by the Power BI for you, and you can utilize it in your uh, chart, in your slice, or anywhere, okay? So this is the first thing. Now let's correct this behavior. To correct this behavior, we need to delete this. So let's click on delete, okay? me try see what error it is coming let me select this some in some problem because i may have 
connected it. Let me pause this and come back. Okay, I just corrected the error. I think it was my uh, the video recorder which was giving me error. All right. So now if you see what we need to do is just select this and press delete. All right. Let me select this. Press delete. I think it should delete. But you also have the option to come here. Oh, there you don't have. All right, over here and remove. Okay. So once you will click the slicer again, add the order date, you will see that now it is coming as a range because we have changed the format. And by default, when uh, a date is properly formatted, you will get the range as the date filter because you should be able to define in under what range you want to specify the filter right also you can click here as i clicked it and the window is open the calendar window is open where i can choose which date i want and the same will be selected over here so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can uh, you know create format and change the date formats within power bi so that you can properly use it in your reports or dashboard so that's about it. I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.